So just tell me about some of the stuff you have in here. Uh, well, this is our nice TV. You know, we cherish it. You know, you gotta cherish whatever you got in here. Um, man. Looks like you got some letters. Oh, uh, no. I've been sending letters out a lot here. You know, this is the only way I can communicate right now through family, friends. Since I've been here, I've only been here for a week. I probably sent out, what, 20, 20 letters. About 20. You know, waiting on multiple letters to come back. They're coming back. Just let everybody know I'm here. Yeah, hey, this is the place I'm living at for a little bit. You know? So it's, getting mail back must be a highlight, huh, guys? That's a gift. It's a gift. It really is. Um, I gotta... It's just like when you don't get no mail, you just get angry. This is my boy in here. You wanna get some mail that night, so... He's in here right now. Who's that? This is my boy that's in here right now. What's his name? Jermaine Smith. This is your friend that you grew up with? Yeah, this is the one I grew up with. Uh, got another one. And these are... Your guys from the neighborhood? Yep. Are they yeah. still on the outs? Yeah, except for him. Matter of fact, he's in here too, I forgot to say. He's Is on the same block. Yeah, he's on the same block too. So there's three of you in here? Yeah, three From of your us. neighborhood? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. No, this is just him. He This one, he was actually doing pretty good. You know, this is, he was doing good. You know, he was playing ball. That's what it turned to. He turned to the streets and it turned to this, you know, he could have been somebody. You know, he a, he's a really good ball player. And then for him to lead to this, just a waste of life, you know. You know, but he's out there doing the same thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put anything past the hood be here. It's just amazing to me that three kids all the same age from the same neighborhood yeah. all end up at Wabash Valley Correctional Facility. That's yep. Pretty... We never thought of it either. We'd be here in prison together. But I guess it was just the life we chose. This isn't the life, though. It isn't at all. So you were saying earlier, when you have a good bunkie, then... Bunkie, yeah. So tell me about... You've been here longer than him. Yeah. So what was it like when Adam, you found out Adam was going to be your roommate? What's that like to get a new roommate? I don't like it, but you got to deal with it in here. But like when I first came here, I didn't come here, but I had to. So I had a roommate, and I knew him from the county, so I already knew who he was. So I didn't really care. So we was getting along the entire 18. He was already 18, went to the dog block. So. Had a room to myself. New guy came in, they moved me downstairs, put me in a room with my uh, friend. So, knew him too, not like that. Two different places though, so. Then they switched him in my room. So I ain't care, gotta get along. Is it hard to get along when you live in such a small space? I mean, literally, look at this. You have a toilet, a sink, in two beds. Is it hard to live in a room this small? With yeah, because I ain't used to it, but you got to make the better of it. got to do what you got to do. So. So tell me, um, <clears throat> we were just talking about mail. Tell me again about what it's like. What do they do? Come around every day to deliver mail? Yeah, in the nighttime. Yeah. Like, they pass our mail around at 9 or 10 and give it to us. If you don't get mail, some people get mad over it. Could you expect the mail? It's an anticipation. It's an anticipation. So that's probably one of the bigger moments of the day, how everybody yeah. waits for the mail to arrive. Yep. Really? And phone calls. So how do the phone calls work? How do you make phone calls? Got to press one for English, press one for collect call, then you dial a number, then you put in your PIN number, and if you ain't got no money on there, it's going to say it. Record it. So you have to have money in your offender account, is that yeah. right? On your phone. 
like a prepaid card. Do your parents or someone have to pay for that? Yeah, they got to put money on there. Mm -hmm. And can you call any time during the day? Yeah, we only come out two hours a day in here. So I ain't really used to that two hours because we weren't coming out. The, well, we was coming out a lot at the county, but get used to it now. It's the life. Do your crime, got to do your time. So you're only out of your room two hours a day? Uh-huh. Even, oh, it was 20 hours. <laughs> even when there's education, that's all part of the education? Oh, uh, no, nah, we don't count that time. Okay. So you have two free hours? Yeah. And the rest of the time you're out doing education or? Yeah, sometimes or we in here. Um, how much time do you guys have breakfast and lunch? Seems like you guys kind of speed through it in 15, 10 minutes. Uh, we only have breakfast for like five minutes, 10 minutes, and that's all. We got breakfast at five, lunch at 12 or 11, dinner at five. So, this food ain't good, but you gotta eat or you'll starve. Does the routine ever get to you after a while? It's the yeah. same thing every single day. Yeah, the routine that got to me when I got a county for a whole year, got used to it. Mama told me not to get used to it, but I got used to it anyway. So. Okay, so both tell me how long you were in county. I was in county. I was in the county for a year, a year and a month, so. And that's county jail? Uh-huh, Marion County. I was in Allen County Jail for about at least a year, almost a year, you know. Nine, ten months. Paint the picture for me of what county jail's like. Man, hell. It's the only way I can picture it. You know, it's, you're up all day. Don't get me wrong, you're up all day. But man, you can't do anything. You know, I'm. this is really better. I'd rather be locked down two hours here, however long you're locked down, before I go back to county. I just, it's way better, you don't get a TV in your room. You know, they got TVs out there on the floors, but it's way better here. And in county jail, you're surrounded by adults. Right. That's, I don't get that here. You know, we're surrounded by adults around here. I mean, in county, you wave his ass an adult, which you put us on the juvenile spot. It's, it doesn't click to me. Would you rather be on the adult side? Yeah. Why? Because right now, I hate getting moved around because I get comfortable in this spot and then boom, I gotta move. I feel like I gotta go to another hall and move home, move to a different home. You know, just put me in a spot where I'm gonna be for my whole time. You know, because you can't get comfortable. You can't put pictures on the wall because you know you're leaving. I just don't like it. Doesn't that scare you thinking about, I mean, you guys are still young and not nearly as big as some of the adults in general population. Does that scare you at all to be the new kid on the block in the adult population? Sometimes if you think about it that way, but if you don't, got to figure it out. Going to the adult block, either way it go. As soon as you turn 18 or soon they find an open place for you. It's, so. it's not the place people make it sound like. You know, they got they got their crimes, don't get me wrong. They got all that. But it's not the place people, whoa, and it's none of that. You go in there, you know, if you want to play the hard role, you're going to get the hard role. You know, you're, you're, you're seldom to yourself. You know, you stay to yourself. You do what you got to do. People are going to see that. They're not going to come pick with you just to pick with you. So you're not afraid. Of, I think a lot of people think, okay, young kid going into, <clears throat> a lot of people think young kid going into adult population, they're going to be jumped, raped. You don't. See it that way? No. Not afraid of that? No. I've, I've had so many other people in prison. It was like that a long time ago. A long time ago, but now it's all about, you know, gangs and money. You know, that's all that traffic to their gang is money. But I've, I've had so many people from recently just got out of prison. You know, hey, what's prison like? You know, let me give me a heads up. It's really how you go in there carry yourself. You know, if you want to go in there and stab somebody, you're going to be stabbed. You want to go in there and just have fun. Not have fun, but be cool. You know, don't 
I don't get it nothing. You can't get yourself out of. And I definitely say, don't bark or something. You know, because people will. Hey, since you owe me this, go do that to him. Go do this. Go do that. No, don't do that. You're in prison. You know, do what you gotta do. Do you think you'd be a target for some older guys who maybe think, hey, kid? No, I don't think I'd be no target. Cause I just go in there and stay to myself. So. I ain't going to be no target. It ain't like how you think it is in there. It's just if you go in there and play the hard role like you said, you're going to get treated like you are then. People are running your room, beat you up, rape you, anything. If you just come in there and stay to yourself, you stay to yourself then. If you want an older person to educate you in there, they'll teach you. So.